Gaming Build presents 15 most chilling video game moments from your childhood. We've all had moments while growing up that were terrifying at best, permanently scarring at worst. While they may not hold a candle to today's scares, some genuinely chilling moments can be found in video games from our childhood. So let's take a look at 15 such moments, examining the chilling and downright unnerving. Cabal's Fatality, Mortal Kombat 3. Forget for a second how comical his expression looks now. Back in the day, we were not exposed to constant jump scares and horrifying faces. So when Cabal, the gas mask wearing, hook sword wielding badass suddenly revealed a terrifying visage, it was fairly spooky. The part where he scared the spirit out of his opponent, well, much less so. The Hall of Bodies, Metal Gear Solid. Throughout Metal Gear Solid, the atmosphere is one of danger and thrills. Then you come across an entire hallway littered with bodies, the walls painted red with crimson. The battle with Gray Fox, the cyber ninja that cleaved off Revolver Ocelot's hand, is coming. The situation was dire enough, but the red hallway turned it up a notch. Rex has seen you, 3D Monster Maze. While 3D Monster Maze is a fairly simple experience, having released for the ZX Spectrum in 1981, it was still frightening. The player had to navigate a maze for as long as possible without getting caught. What else should be hunting you, however, but a T-Rex? Furthermore, by using simple messages like, Rex has seen you, or run, he is behind you, 3D Monster Maze conveyed a very effective sense of terror, despite its limitations. Pyramid Head Appears, Silent Hill 2 James Sunderland's journey into Silent Hill was never guaranteed to be peaceful, and while the town itself, the creepy atmosphere, and the various creatures set us off, it was Pyramid Head that was the final trigger. The hypnotically deep music, the player hiding and watching all of this unfold. Suffice to say, Pyramid Head was ahead of the creepy curve. The Liquor Arrives Resident Evil 2 The first encounter with the liquor is prefaced with discovering a body. The head is missing, it seems to have been twisted off, the text reads. The game then introduces the ghastly thing, crawling on the ceiling with its razor-sharp tongue ready to kill again. Granted, the actual fight wasn't too tough, especially if you have a shotgun, but it was still a pivotal survival horror moment. And don't even get us started on the liquor that suddenly appears leaping through the window later. Drowning, Sonic the Hedgehog Did Sega know it was terrifying an entire generation with Sonic the Hedgehog? When Sonic is caught underwater, the music starts speeding up as if mimicking the hedgehog's panic. Faster and faster it goes, pushing you to do something, anything to save good old Sonic. Then it stops, and Sonic drowns, his face contorted in pain. Well, thanks for the memories, Sega. Nightmares, Max Payne. You think you know Torment. Clearly, you're not Max Payne. The hard-boiled DEA agent gone rogue had his wife and child killed. The game is a quest to discover who did it and why. Max doesn't get to sleep easy. He's afflicted with nightmares, featuring long, winding corridors, the screams of his family, and even a bloody trail to follow. The moment when Max reaches the end of the trail, only to find an empty crib with blood splatters, still haunts us. Lurker Shark, Jack and Daxter Steven Spielberg's Jaws is a seminal moment in horror film history. It taught us that safety is an illusion and that something so simple could still be lurking, waiting to hurt us. The lurker shark in Jack and Daxter, for the short time that it will appear, captures that feeling. A beating heart, quickening in pace as it approaches, followed by the iconic duo being swallowed whole. So simple, yet so very unsettling. Ghost Piano, Super Mario 64. So there we were, like any normal Mario 64 player, exploring Big Boo's haunt. It was a pretty creepy place, but what else would you expect? Upon arriving in a room with a solitary piano, there's a moment of respite. Then you get too close to it, and it springs to life. More importantly, it does so in a loud, raucous manner, banging keys together like an actual demonic piano might. Curse this piano and its creator. Ravenholm, Half-Life 2 if you played the original Half-Life, then dealing with headcrab-infested humans wasn't out of the ordinary. So, how could Half-Life 2 possibly spice this up? One word, Ravenholm. The location is host to numerous infected humans who could really only be zombies at this point. You never know where they're coming from until the telltale screaming is heard. Burning, decapitation, traps, and whatnot only add to the horror movie vibe. Lindsay's Dismemberment, Eternal Darkness. There are a number of creepy moments in Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem, created primarily by the Sanity system. 
Random dismemberment seems like one of the worst. One moment, Edwin Lindsay is walking and trying to avoid some blades. Suddenly, his head is sliced off. He keeps going, though, losing one arm and then another in the process. If you go into the menu, it says it's difficult to equip anything when Lindsay doesn't have any arms. The sequence ends in his upper torso being lopped off before things return to normal. Lavender Town and Pokemon Tower Pokemon Red and Blue Pokemon has quite a few ethical ramifications when it comes to capturing monsters and having them fight. However, for the most part, Pokemon Red and Blue were generally upbeat games. Then, enter Pokemon Tower in Lavender Town. Along with the creepy music, players come face to face with the reality that Pokemon can actually die. In fact, the player might have even killed their rivals Raticate at some point. That moment of entering the town and hearing that eerie tune still gets us. Gygus, Earthbound You'd think Earthbound is a relatively quirky story about kids going on a larger-than-life adventure. Then you come across Gygus, who acts as the final boss. Described as the embodiment of evil, Gygus' form defies any explanation. It appears as a twisted face and seemingly eternal pain that distorts and multiplies as the battle goes on. For all the weirdness that was Earthbound, Gygus remains a truly creepy phenomenon. Chucky's Eyes, Monkey Island 2 Remember the ending to Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge. LeChuck and Guybrush are battling in the climax when the former asks for his mask to be taken off. Cut to an amusement park where the two brothers are playing, LeChuck being Chucky in this case. Apparently, the whole adventure was just a game between brothers. Then Chucky stares into the camera, his eyes glowing as he walks off. Till date, that ending remains a mystery, one that its creator Ron Gilbert still won't explain, but nothing will dull that creepy stare. Camera Obscura Less Fatal Frame 2 Crimson Butterfly The core mechanic of Fatal Frame 2 Crimson Butterfly is the Camera Obscura. It's your tool for fighting ghosts and often tells you when they're nearby. So when Mio drops the camera and her flashlight, entering the seventh chapter with no means to defend herself, things take a turn for the harrowing. The constant questioning from Say as to why you left her doesn't help. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.